of the most followed Catholics on social media. The late Francis Cardinal George even described him as one of the church's best messengers. Bishop Robert Barron is the founder of Word on Fire Catholic Ministries. His teachings, preachings, even rhetoric around controversial topics such as abortion, death penalty, and gender ideology attracting an estimated 5 million people around the world daily. Bishop Barron, it is an honor to have you joining us this morning. Thank you so much. My pleasure. Thanks for having me. Absolutely. Let's jump right in there. Post-pandemic church attendance is down from 37 to 30 percent among Catholics, according to Pew Research. Now, however, your social media following is growing. Why the juxtaposition? Well, of course, COVID uh, adversely affected all the churches, so we have to kind of take that into account. But you're right that the numbers have been trending down for a long time. See, my strategy has been not so much to work on church programs because the people weren't coming to church, but to go out to where the people are. So Word on Fire started doing, you know, YouTube videos and podcasts and moving into social media as a kind of bridge. I mean, I want to bring people to church, to the mass, to the Eucharist, you know, as a Catholic. But I think the way to do it is to provide a bridge and to move into the space where they live, which is why we've done all the social media work. And I think it's it's been a good gamble because um, we have gotten a large following. And especially among younger men who are notoriously difficult for the churches to reach. So that's been my strategy is it's a kind of um, evangelical bridge I'm trying to build using social media. Bishop Barron, what are you doing differently that uh, seems to cut through your evangelism and how it resonates with people? Yeah, you know, maybe I'm not the best one to judge, but I would guess I emphasize truth and beauty. Uh, I came of age in a Catholic church that kind of dumbed down the faith. So we presented it in a very, I think, superficial, childish way. So when my generation grew up and faced life, they said, well, this religion is for kids. Well, the Catholic tradition is a very smart tradition. We have a rich theological heritage. So I've drawn on that. Even a lot of people in the beginning said to me, oh, don't do that. It's, it's too much for people. They won't be able to handle it. Nonsense. Yeah, you know, people are handling complicated matters in terms of law and business and government and so on. Why not religion? So we present it in a smart way. Secondly, Catholicism is a very beautiful religion. So we've used and relied upon, you know, art and poetry and architecture and painting and sculpture. And so I've tried to bring that forward in my presentations of the faith. So it's smart, I hope, and it's beautiful. And I think that's proved appealing to people. Bishop Barron, my colleague Adrian Banker does a special here called One Nation Under God, where she constantly tackles that issue. What would it take to inspire a renewed sense of faith in those who haven't returned to the church? Can you answer that question? Well, it's happening. You know, um, the new atheists were prominent, what, 20, 25 years ago now, and they were darn good evangelists. I'll give them that. I mean, I, I talk to younger people, now not so younger people, every day who are influenced by Dawkins and Hitchens and Sam Harris and company. But the new atheism left in its wake a lot of deeply frustrated and directionless people. If you say, well, we've come from nowhere, we're going nowhere, there's no objective moral value, life doesn't mean anything, well, what does that leave you with but a hopeless nihilism? And deep within us, here's my basic conviction born of the Bible, deep within all of us is a hunger and thirst for God, for ultimate meaning and purpose. And so when we speak of that, in the public forum, it will be appealing to people, even as they might be suspicious of, of organized religion. But when you speak the spiritual truth, I think especially young people find that appealing. That's what we need to do, is we, we have to stop wringing our hands as religious people and boldly claim our own great tradition, because the world has always been hungry for it. Bishop Barron, five million followers on social media without doing a single TikTok dance? <laughs> Never dance, no. It's <laughs> not my repertoire. <laughs> Thank you, Bishop Barron. I appreciate you joining us this morning. Thanks for watching, everybody. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. Also, don't forget to click that red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.